Okay, so this is just gonna be a quick walk around of how far we've got on the midget so far. So we've got new sills on. So yeah, these are new sills that we've welded on and they got some stone chip on there at the minute. And this wheel arch, so this is a new plate that's been welded on and just sealed up. And all of this has been coated in um, some rust wax this part was all rusted this is all gone and that's we cut that off and welded a new bit on tried to keep the original look as possible with the lips going over nothing much we've done to the engine bay just yet um, this is a little 3d printed thing for the new indicators once we convert to chrome bumper so they're going to be our indicators because obviously the indicators are inside of the bumpers so and here is one of the wheel arches we've sealed up this has had quite a lot of rust in it when we first looked in here and now we've just put we've coated it and welded patched up um, parts up and put some rust proofing on it second sill we've done same thing at the minute we're just doing this brake uh, the rear drum brake we're sorting this one out um, and this has all been rust treated because there was so much rust behind here and we've got to sand that down so that's flush and this wheel arch has done, been done yeah at some point we'll take the uh, leaf suspensions off and give them a good clean up and the coat got the tornado cover on at the minute because I just want that to stretch in the sun it was sunny earlier it's not very sunny now but so that will stretch the interior looking quite bare <clears throat> this is the brake uh, rear drum that's we've just painted with some heat heat resistant paint the drums in quite good condition that's the drum back on it looks quite smart <clears throat> move around to the rear of the vehicle obviously you can see the the bumper has been taken off the rear bumper it's gonna all be cleaned up because this whole car is gonna have a new paint job but it was just stuff that's what's kept in the boot for the time being at some point we'd like to get a new muffler for this exhaust because this one doesn't sound very nice of the, um, the rear light is cracked down the bottom there. This whole rear light has been done. It's all smooth now. This was, as you can see in the first video, filled with filler. Absolutely filled with filler. That's been welded up and patched over with some filler. This wheel arch is yet to be done. It's had a lot of plates put in here and stuff but this drum has been done this door really we've got this is one of the next bigger parts we're doing is the door on the driver's side you might be able to see in there rust it's rotten absolutely rotten so we're just going to get a So these are the chrome bumpers we've bought for the car. Obviously you can see that the front bumpers had primer coat on it. And that's because the bumper before when it before I had the primer on it was very rusted and like um misty and uh the guy the guy I bought it from said that he tried to recover it, it just was it you know, it just couldn't be recovered. So he got um for cheap some uh good uh, some bumpers in good condition, so he sold these and I bought them. And basically, I've well, we're now painting them, and then we're going to wrap them in a chrome vinyl wrap. 
and we're going to see how that goes. Obviously, now you can see we're putting stone chip on the on the um, on the uh, overriders, but we've done that on all of the bumpers and we've sprayed them in a in a um, in a chrome paint. And the chrome paint wasn't too bad itself, but when we put the lacquer on it, it turned into like a horrible grey colour. So we've just decided to wrap them. It'd be cheaper than buying new bumpers. So yeah, um, so this is just a stone chip in the overriders, and yeah. This is just the chrome paint that we used for it. It did turn out quite well when we painted them, but as soon as the lacquer went on, it just turned into like a grey. But at least we've got a nice clean surface to wrap on. I do appreciate everyone that's taken the time to watch this video today. If you like stuff like this, please consider subscribing. And if you want to, you can let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see on this midget restoration, what sort of stuff you'd like to see more often. And yeah, just give us a shout on like, stuff you'd prefer me to do like what sort of videos to do and i'd like to consider i'd like to know what you guys think is the best idea because obviously i've just started out on youtube and i'd like to know what you guys think i should do and yeah please consider, consider subscribing and if you already are please could you share the videos and stuff i'd like to get the videos out there to people that enjoyed like car restorations in general not just midgets but yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one